I am Mike Stanton. This is the Build America Mutual Muni Market Update for December 17th, probably our last one of the year, 2021. I'm joined here by Brian Babler and Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Uh, Brian, we can start with you. Not a lot of action in uh, the interest rate markets as far as the muni market was concerned. Uh, a little more volatility in the treasury market. What did you see? Yeah, it was uh, you know heavy week news wise. Uh, everybody's major focus was on uh, and attention was on the Fed on Wednesday, um, where they announced uh, anticipated three rate hikes for 2022. Uh, that seemed to be well digested. Uh, away from that, uh, some of the the economic numbers that came out this week were fairly mixed. Um, you know, especially on Thursday, uh, you had initial claims a little higher than expected. Philly Fed a little weaker than. Are quite a bit weaker than expected. Um, so overall, you know, after a really strong rally uh, in the Treasury market on Monday, uh, you saw rates sell off uh, into uh, into the Wednesday announcement and then have rallied kind of back again. So you know, week over week, I think the ten year closed Monday at like a one forty one, and right now is around a one thirty nine on the Treasury side. Um, you know, a little less, uh, a little more muted action on the thirty year. Um, but uh, but uh, with all of that, munis uh, kind of ran in place and didn't move anywhere, including today, uh, with treasuries rallying again. So, uh, you know, the market uh, was really focused on the muni side, just on digesting what's likely the last of this year's supply. We saw about 8.7 billion priced. And, um, you know, uh, uh, it was uh, it was a little bit choppy. Um, there was some deals that did very well, other deals that struggled a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, it was uh, it was a, an up and down week for sure. And definitely if uh, our viewers have a chance to visit BAM's social media page, uh, we have a, a playback of a webinar uh, our colleague Morgan Fahey did with uh, Eric Friedland from Lord Abbott Mutual Funds and Jim Mann from RBC Wealth Management. They uh, talked about some of the issues uh, underlying some of that activity, uh, uh, particularly the fact that individual investors are concerned about the inflation outlook, uh, but they think it's really kind of a short or intermediate term issue. That long end is definitely not showing that people think inflation is going to be around for, for a pr prolonged period. Period. Um, definitely uh, worth a few minutes of your time if you have a chance to, uh, to take a look at that. You can find it on uh, BAM's LinkedIn page, Facebook page, or Twitter. Um, so turning back to the uh, the new issue market, Chris, uh, this is probably the last active week of new issue pricings for the uh, for the year. What did you see this week? Yeah, that's right, Mike. I mean, at this stage of the year, we had a relatively active week last week. BAM priced two hundred seventy five million dollars across fifteen transactions, and those transactions were spread across ten states. Uh, Stiefel had two sizable transactions last week, one with a $71 million Yuma water and sewer deal in Arizona that had a public AA minus rating from S&P. There's also a Bainbridge, Georgia deal for $55 million. Um, the aggregate calendar next week is really going to wane into year end, but um, the, the consensus for the supply for 2022 is around $475 million, so we look forward to, to going into 2022. And of course, as we wrap up the year, we're looking back 50 out of 49 weeks so far in 2021 have shown net inflows to municipal bond mutual funds, according to Refinitiv. Clearly a lot of demand for the product out there. Um, we'll see how that holds up uh, as uh, people's expectations evolve with regard to higher tax rates. Uh, the Build Back Better Act will not be passed uh, through the Senate in calendar year 2021, and Democrats are going to try to do it again next year. So we'll see how uh, that demand picture holds up. Um, we also saw from uh, Hilltop Securities this week, Tom Koslick uh, released his annual survey of municipal bond analysts. And one of the things was interesting there, COVID obviously the top ranked concern, uh, but how infrastructure is going to impact the muni market was uh, second to that and relatively close second. Um, so we'll see how that uh, plays out uh, with the implementation of the IIJA and the federal infrastructure spending in the coming year as well. Any other parting thoughts before we uh, close the book on 2021? Not from my end. No, nothing here. You know, it'll be uh, it'll be a, an interesting start. Uh, normally, January, uh, you know, with the January effect, is uh, is usually a very seasonally strong period for munis. You've got a lot of uh, redemptions and coupons, uh, as well as uh, usually seasonally good uh, cash flow. In um, you know, we'll see how quickly supply picks up to meet that demand. Um, but we could be in for, you know, another really strong period of outperformance to start the year, um, especially if we don't see uh, a massive upswing um, in, in supply, which, 
you know, again, per your comments uh, about how quickly things will move through Washington, that may take some time uh, to really kind of see some of the implementation uh, of, of the borrowing needs uh, a little bit further into the year. So um, should be an interesting start, start to 2022. Um, and, uh, and we're looking forward to, uh, to another year. Just under the wire, probably the first time all year that we've heard somebody use the word quickly in Washington in the same sentence. <laughs> so thanks, Brian and uh, Chris, for your time. Have a great holiday season. Uh, we'll see you back here in 2022. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 